Well, the first of our finals is about to happen. We gaan aanstonds alles gereed maken voor de strijd om de eerste bronze medaille die wij vanavond hier gretig op de streep hebben gezoomd. This is our first decision of the night as we now see the men's team pursuit. The Italians up against Germany and Denmark up against Great Britain for the gold medal. Italy making their way up onto the track. Ronald Dickey, you think Colombia will be in the medals in the Kieran? Wouldn't be surprised. Fabian Puerta is generally in the medals in the Kieran, so we'll see how he does. We'll come back to that a little later on. Germany up on the track then with a team of Neil Schomber, Felix Gross, Theo Reinhardt, Kirsten Thieler. Up against the Italian team. Now the Italians have uh, again, similar to their women's programme, the men's programme has been getting stronger and stronger in the team pursuit discipline. And Italy won the World Cup in Pruskov in uh, Poland. That was the first round of the World Cup. And they took the bronze medal in the World Championships last year. So we'll see whether they can take the bronze again or whether Germany can uh, ride this one down. Underway then for both these teams. Peter, very good question. Do you perceive a gold medal at the Commonwealth Games more prestigious than a rainbow jersey? Well, a rainbow jersey means you're the best in the world. A Commonwealth jersey means that you are. A Commonwealth medal means you're uh, the best in the Commonwealth, but so a world jersey for sure has more prestige in terms of world cycling. But you can totally understand the decision of Australia when the Commonwealth Games are in Australia. All focus of Australians during the Commonwealth Games will be about the Commonwealth Games and Australian performance. So I totally understand why they would focus all their training and all their efforts on trying to win Commonwealth Games, which come around every four years in the World Championships is every year. So they can come back next year as part of the Olympic cycle. And if they can dominate the Commonwealth Games, then it's uh, a feel-good, a morale uh, boost for the World Championships of next year and then, of course, the Olympic Games. But I don't think anyone would argue that a World Championship medal is lower in its value and prestige than a Commonwealth medal. Coming round then, Germany are ahead by 0.174, but I expect this because I think the Italians will ride to a schedule to come back on terms with the Germans now. See what happens. Yep, there you go. Through the 1,750 metres, so the Italians are starting to pick up the pressure a little more now. They tend to start easier way. 
a little bit more tranquilo, the Italians, before they get going. When they start to accelerate, they generally do this. Very strong team with Filippo Ganna, now a World Tour professional rider. And Sony Batazzo, Lamon. He's got some good stamina in this group. See the pressure now at two and a half thousand meters. The Italian team go 0.397 ahead of the German squad. Some big turns being done in here. The pressure goes on. Now, 0.4 ahead. See the cadence really high now. The German team down to three riders over 3,000 metres now. Italy pushing on to try and take another bronze medal, successive bronze medals if they can. Still looking strong. They finally lose a rider, so we're down to three each. Coming up now to the three and a half thousand meter point. Italy need to push on a little bit more now. German team starting to uh, ride a bit more strongly in this final run into the finish. So the Italian team picking it up, trying to push on a little more now. Germany with 250 to go. Looks like the Italians have got the measure of the Germans here. 1.4 seconds ahead. A clever ride by the Italians. As they make their way in towards the finish, it's going to be bronze for the Italian team. 354-606. Very strong ride. Italy take the bronze for the second year running. Germany in 3.56, 5.94. They just didn't have the pace that the Italian team had. Thanks for your messages at UCI underscore track is where you can get hold of me this evening if you'd like to message. Faces on the Italian team as they piled on the pressure. So the bronze medal goes to Consoni, Bertazzo, Ghana, and Le Mans. the team of Great Britain, Edward Clancy, Kylian Ebony. Should be a good competition then for the gold medal. Making their way out onto the track, Ed Clancy. Kian Amadi, Ethan Ater and Charlie Sanfield riding for Great Britain. On the other side of the track, team of Denmark. Team of Denmark then, Nicholas Larsson, Julius Johansson, Frederick Madsen, Kasper von Folsack. Denmark, world champion bronze medal for Larsen, Madsen and Von Folsack in 2016. Kasper Von Folsack, the most successful of the team in terms of world championship medals. Silver in 2014, bronze in 2013. Great Britain with another change team. They're just trying to get this bike safely into the starting gate. Yeah, 
There's Ed Clancy, multiple Olympic champion. Counted down then to the right start. This is quite hard to call, I think, between these two teams. Ethan Hayter at the top, Charlie Tanfield, Kian Amadi and Ed Clancy. <laughs> Underway then for both these teams, the Danish team leading off at the front is uh, Frederick Madsen. The less experienced of the team in uh, team pursuiting. Denmark taking a long time to get on with four riders. They generally start very, very quick, the Danes, as you can see. Already half a second up. Denmark with their team, Nicholas Larsson, World Cup Omnium winner in Kraskov and in Milton, and second in Manchester. He's had a great World Cup season. Bronze medalist in 2016 in the team pursuits. Julius Johansson is one of the most talented young Danes on the road. Fred Madsen, World Championship bronze medalist. Kasper von Falsak, who we've mentioned already. So Denmark really strong and already nearly a second ahead of Great Britain. Great Britain with Ed Clancy, Olympic champion multiple times. Kian Amadi, who was a sprinter, now turns attention to team pursuiting. Ethan Hayter, Charlie Tanfield, who won the men's ground of the World Cup in the individual pursuit. And he also won the team pursuit with his trade team, Team KGF. And Tanfield is the rider who has burst into this Great Britain team, having not been part of the academy process or anything that Great Britain have set up. He's purely arrived, he's almost set a world record in the individual pursuit. It's a very, very close moment between these teams. Denmark starting to lose their lead to Great Britain. The most important thing will come up to 2,000 metres, and that's when we will see uh, how the schedule is riding out. Denmark point three now. Don't forget, at UCI underscore track is where you can get hold of us. Denmark now. Only points one, six, three ahead. Denmark down to three. Great Britain still with four riders. This is getting close now. Great Britain are riding down the Danes. The pressure is starting to tell. Great Britain point one ahead that time. On the front, a massive turn. Huge turn by Kian Amadi. Now Great Britain go ahead, but the Danes are fighting back. Point 0.185. This is not over. Julius Johansson on the front for Denmark, giving this a massive turn. Point 0.277 is now the lead. Goes out a little bit to point 0.406. On the front then, Charlie Tanfield following him as Ethan Ater, looking very, very comfortable. The Danes, ooh, a slide by the Danish rider as he hit the advertising on the track. Almost lost it, but going sidewards. Hater kicking on on the front. Point eight now is the difference. Not long now to the end of this race. Coming around then to two, and two laps to go. Great Britain, though, point nine ahead. This is going to be a quick time by the looks of things. One second ahead. Denmark are getting a little bit ragged. Great Britain go through with one lap to go. This is quick. Great Britain turning the pressure on. Hates are all over the place on the front. Charlie Tanfield in second place, driving for the finish as they hit the line then. 3.53, 389 for Great Britain. They take the gold in the World Championships. A completely changed team. 3.53, 3.89 for Great Britain. 
Clancy congratulating a very young team that he's got here. Clancy, the most experienced rider, but with a team of youngsters, Ethan Hayter, Kian Amadi, and Charlie Tanfield. Als ik hier net voor de volgende onderdeel.